It's time to hit the jackpot because you're listening to How to Bet, hosted by Daryl Fine and Sean Miller, breaking down betting into four categories to help you stay ahead of the game, sharing their thoughts, opinions, and analysis on how to bet it, where to bet it, and who to bet on. Now here are your hosts, Daryl Fine and Sean Miller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to How to Bet, the podcast where we will tell you how to bet, where to bet it, and who to bet on. I'm Daryl Fine, along with Sean the Genius Miller. Remember to go to howtobet.com for all things sports book, how to bet. And, uh, Sean, we know that we have a lot going on on howtobet.com. You can see a various no, various numbers of lines, sports books lines, right there, right in front of you. Uh, it, it just you, you know you don't have to switch switch pages. It's all right there for you. Yeah, different sports books, money lines, betting lines. You can go to the front page of howtobet.com and see previews for the Sunday night, Thursday night, Monday night, all the primetime games, and all an, or, an overarching overview of all the games and a preview right on the front page and. Uh, Kind of a companion to the show written by me. So Yeah, and you're, you're watching us on YouTube, but you can also listen to us on various outlets. Apple iTunes, Breaker, CastBox, Google Podcast, Overcast, uh, Pocket Cast. There's so many. Radio Public, Spotify. Basically and everywhere. Stitcher. Yeah, but basically everywhere that uh, podcasts are heard. And, of course, you're watching us, as I said, on YouTube. And remember to hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, the like button. Uh, that, that's uh, that's where you're going to get. And you get swag that way. Hit the yep. subscribe button. Hit the like button. Message us. I want swag or... I want my, merch. My God, this guy needs a haircut. Anything like that. <laughs> and you can get some swag. We have Tiffany Hartman, can this be seen? Okay. All right. Our, our executive directors gives me the okay. How to bet swag. We have, ha- look, I have hats. We have hats. We water, have, you got a we water have, bottle over uh, there. My water bottle. We, we're, we're loaded with swag. So uh, make sure you uh, get there and hit again, subscribe and like. That's big. That's and big. The, and important. the Twitter account as well. Twitter pi- account. I am at Fine Line 33, F E I N L I N E 33. You are? At the Prodigal Sean. More complicated. Than, than fine line. That's the prodigal son, but the prodigal son, it's a play on words. I'm a genius. He is a genius. He literally, folks, is a genius. It's hard to tell, but he is a genius. Uh, hey, I hope you listened to me last week. I crushed it. I not only hit the yep. our, uh, parlay power play of the week, I crushed it. Two weeks I, in a row. Yeah. Well, one, yeah, we, we've been I, yeah, good you back You hit the, the first, I had the, but, but overall, I, I gave you the Vegas Raiders on the money line for the second straight week. I gave you the Carolina Panthers on the money line, so I hope you uh, you listened. And again, as I will say always, bet with your head, not with your heart. Bet within your means. Don't go over your means. Some people do it as entertainment. Some people do it to make money, and you can. But don't go over your head. Bet within your means. Uh, you know it. it uh, uh, and if you need help, there's a lot of help out there. One eight hundred Gambler is a good place to go if you find yourself having problems in this area and we also want to take a moment to give a big shout out to the top sports book of the week yes. and that is caesar's sports book they're one of our favorite sports books that we personally use and they're available in 12 states across what the country. are they giving us this week oh what man. are they giving us well giving first us. if you live in arizona colorado indiana iowa michigan new jersey tennessee virginia west virginia you can get caesar's Howard. great household brand they're giving you a $5,000 risk-free bet. That's $5,000 That's legit, risk-free folks. bet. That's legit. Just go to howtobet.com to get that. How to bet RF. Risk-free for that. Go to howtobet.com. Click on that. How to bet RF is the code for a $5,000 risk-free bet. Now, if you took your uh, Raiders yes. on the... Money line with your five thousand dollar risk free bet. Crushed you, you, that's ten thousand dollars. Crushed it. That was plus two hundred. Crushed. That's ten thousand dollars for yes. free, and it was risk free. Caesars Sportsbook. Jump on this. Get Jump there. on this offer. Caesars Sportsbook. Get there, but get there through howtobet.com. 
Com. Let's now welcome in our special guest, Mark Echo. Mark Echo covered the Philadelphia Eagles, beat writer for Philadelphia Eagles for probably a hundred years. He covers the well, hundred. Well, I know, close, close to a hundred. Uh, uh, he just doesn't look that old. Uh, the Green Bay Packers now. They have even crazier is that he is he's he moved to South Carolina from Philadelphia and became. A NASCAR guy. He writes for uh, NASCAR articles. Uh, hard to believe. If you told me uh, 30 years ago that Mark Echo one day would be writing NASCAR articles, I would never believe you. Not in not in a billion years. And you're out. Well, Sorry, and you're out number two to one here in the studio now because you got two Manchester United football fans in the I, studio now as well. I, I believe that less than I would believe <laughs> that he covers NASCAR. But uh, welcome, Mark. Thanks for coming on. And uh, uh, well, we miss you here in Philly, that's for sure. But I know you're loving life in South Carolina. Yeah, yeah I don't miss a whole lot. Um, I, you know, I practice getting ready for NASCAR by driving down 95 every day going to Philly from uh, Bucks County. That is true. <laughs> that is good true. Practice. So, uh, Sean, Daryl's not a United fan. What's he, a Liverpool fan? Uh, Daryl is not a big uh, football well, a, fan. Uh, uh, he is. He's, uh, he's a closet he, fan. He probably he, likes uh, Lester. He, he, <laughs> he likes Samsel. No, uh, he, I think uh, he, he uh, you know, likes to... Bash it every chance he yeah, gets. Try, but, uh, yeah, try, it's, trust me. Hey, it's it's a big it's a big betting market at this point. So, but uh, not on this show. He says he win he wins he gives he wins every week every week he wins until he gives me the games and then you know then I lose I bet him I lose. So, uh, but welcome uh, welcome Mark and uh, you know one of the things we want to talk about we we had the uh, Packers we you, I know you uh, follow the Packers you cover them a little bit on on online. Um, the Packers Monday night, there was no team in, in football with an off season like the Packers, Uh, you know, uh, they're just every day in the headlines, every day opening, every sports talk show was Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. They go out week one and throw out a clunker of all clunkers. They rebound to beat a not good Detroit team, an improved Detroit team, but not a good Detroit team. So where do you think this the Packers are right now? What's the state of the Green Bay Packers in your mind? Well, the offense is back to where it was. Aaron Rodgers, um, and that was the that was the gist of the offseason. Were they going to trade? I mean, there were there were actual reports that he had he had been traded to the Denver Broncos. And I, I think a Denver radio station actually re- reported he was traded. Uh, other rumors of him going here, there, everywhere. He was going to retire. He was going to be the host of Jeopardy. Uh, he was going to be uh, playing for Manchester United. I don't know. There was all kind of rumors about him. But um, actually, he, he's a big city fan, I think. Yeah, he Man, is. He's um, a big Manchester City fan. Boo. So they're, they're, they're okay. But, um, I mean, he said after the game Monday night that a lot of it was kind of blown out of proportion. He's a very – I mean, he's a different kind of guy. He's not your classic football player player he think sometimes he thinks too much i, I think which is a bad thing to say about someone but he, he's he's very intelligent and i think sometimes he overthinks things and, and worries about things that aren't, aren't that, that aren't there but when he gets upset that's when he's he's the most dangerous he was you know he was upset when the when the 49ers didn't take him number one overall way back when they took alex smith uh his quote that that day is memorable when he said are are, are you disappointed that the, that your hometown 49ers didn't take you, and he said, "Not as disappointed as they're going to be," and and that, you know that so that was right from the go. He he let you know that he does carry a grudge with him. Um, now he came out last night. He was he was criticized all week after his terrible game against New Orleans. Um, the guys on CBS, Bill Cower and Phil Sims, and um, I don't know whoever else is on that that show, really really took it to him a little bit comes out Monday night and throws four touchdown passes. So the Packers will be okay. They're not going to, I mean, they have issues. They have some things on defense that they need to straighten out. That defense was awful, both against New Orleans and the first half against the Lions. Uh, they came back, played very well the second half. Lions didn't, didn't score in the second half. So they're good. They're not, I don't know if they're the best team in the, in, in the league. Right, They were the best team in, in, in the league last year. They didn't win it. Tampa Bay beat them, but they were the better team. Tampa, a couple breaks here and there, but, um, they'll be in the mix. It's a long season. Um, I think they'll be right in the mix at the end of the year. Tampa, of course, Tampa's going to be there unless 
as, as long as they have Tom Brady, they'll, they'll, always, they'll always be there. Um, I think the Rams are pretty good in the NFC. Um, and there's always a surprise team that we don't know about right now. But getting back, the, the Detroit Lions, they, they're not good. They're going to be good. I think this this crazy guy that they, they hired yeah. for, as head coach, Campbell, players love him. And, and the players are going to play hard for him. Um, he has a pretty good coaching staff. Not maybe not this year, but they're they're getting better. That's a team to keep an eye on. And and when they're getting points, sometimes I know you guys do betting and stuff. Um, take them with the points. If if the lines are a little high, take them with the points. Mark, I got a couple of questions here. First of all, with the lines, uh, when you look at the lines this week, I think there's already four games that are like almost double digit lines. Um, you know, I think maybe due to the fact that there's some really bad teams. And second of all, you know, you just talked about the NFC West. You talked about the Rams, who, you know, in the the earlier shows have been pretty high on it. I'm very high on the Cardinals as well, One of maybe one of those teams that could come out of nowhere. I mean, what do you think about the NFC West, uh, how, how good that, that division is, and when they're playing up against some of these other teams with these high lines? Oh, yeah, the, the NFC West is far and away the best division, top to bottom. I mean... I mean, if <laughs> I think all, all four of those teams could make the playoffs, it's going to be tough because they play each other. So, yeah. you know, twice a year. So it, it might be kind of tough to squeeze that fourth team in. Um, but I mean, the Rams are 49ers, Seahawks, Cardinals. If the Cardinals, who are probably the fourth team, maybe I don't, I get, although they're off to a really nice 2 0 start, I think any one of those teams would win the NFC East, hands down. It wouldn't even be close. The, 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 yeah, all four of them are better than anybody. The, the Cowboys are probably the best team in the NFCs, but I'll, I think all four of those teams are better than the Cowboys. And, and um, you, so, so speaking of the Cowboys, uh, there. Let, let's switch gears a little bit. Uh, team that you covered for, I, I, I said a hundred years. I know I'm pretty close. How, how many years did you cover the? Years? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. 32. Years. So I was close. I started when. I, I was nine years old when I started covering. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable. Uh, so talented at nine. So, so Mark, you know, in typical Philly fan fashion, week one, the Eagles uh, win. They start printing Super Bowl tickets after week two. They're ready to fire the coach after two games. Uh, typical Philadelphia Eagle fan fashion. Uh, but, you know, they have what is now a fairly big game for them uh, and the fans on Monday night against Dallas. Uh, what do you what what do you see? I know you're not in in the trenches anymore, but uh, I know you're still a little bit involved. What what, uh, what do you see with the Eagles? Eagles. I mean, they are what they are. They're not. And again, I that, I do miss that that um, overreaction that Philadelphia fans seem to have. Like you said, they beat the Falcons, and everybody's thinking they're the greatest team ever. And Hertz is going to be the MVP. And then they lose to San Francisco, right? And I'm I'm sure to right, everybody wanted to bench Hertz, fire. Sirianni and do a bunch of other things. Uh, it, this is going to be a tough game. It's Dallas's home opener. Uh, Dallas opened with two road games. Uh, they're coming off a, a very nice win over a, a good Chargers team in in Los Angeles. Although watching that game, I thought the game was in Dallas because there seemed to be more more Cowboy fans yeah. there than Charger fans. Um, so this is a real tough spot for a young quarterback in Jalen Hurts and a, a rookie head coach in Nick Sirianni to go to. Dallas for the Cowboys home opener on Monday night. I mean, that's just a, that's a tough spot. That's a real tough spot. If the Eagles could win that game, and I don't think they will, but if, if they could, that that would be a, a real signature win for this this new program. But but let's be honest, they're they're in a rebuilding mode. Whether they'll, they'll use those words out loud or not, the owner kind of did. The owner kind of came out when he fired Doug Peterson and said the reason he fired him was, and I'm paraphrasing, but basically he said Peterson wanted thought we could win now and I was looking toward the future. So when the owner kind of tells you that he doesn't expect to win this year, um, you know, I, I, you know, if, if they go around five, you can't go 500 anymore because they added that stupid extra game. But um, if they go seven and 10, eight and nine, that's, that's not a terrible year. I know the fans won't think so, but that's, that's not a terrible year after only winning four games last year. You can go eight, eight and one. It's true. And, and if anybody could, the Eagles could. Yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> 
So, Mark, uh, we appreciate you giving us time, some insight on those Packers and Eagles. And uh, what, what do you have? What do you, I know you're still doing some things, and now you're laying on the beach a lot, but uh, you're doing things. What, what do you have to promote? Promote something. Give us something. Well, okay. Well, yeah. I, I do. I'm doing a lot of things. I, I pack. It's funny you, you mentioned. I'm, you know, I do a little packing. I've been. I was. I, I from the time my godfather, my my uncle Joe was was actually friends with Vince Lombardi, so that was in my head since I was a little kid. So I've always been a Packers fan. Um, I got involved with these young guys that do Packer Report. It's it's on the twenty four seven Sports Network. Uh, they're they're hardworking, young, energetic, um, good writers that that put together a nice product. And I think, I think they just needed an old guy to kind of like, <laughs> to, cause like they don't know stuff before. Like they don't know a lot of the old, like they're young. So how would they, they read about it, but like, you know, whatever. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of their um, old guy. To- I'm, I'm the token old guy, I guess that just kind of reminisces about old P- Packer stuff. And, and I do a, a story after the game. I do an instant analysis for them after. So I do like two stories a week for them. It's been fun. And, it, and it's good work. It, those young guys kind of keep me a little young too. Um, and I also do, there's a pack a day podcast that goes in with that as well. I'm on the Sunday podcast. So we kind of do the game preview and then, uh, I write for better. I write, like you mentioned, NASCAR, I do a NASCAR story once a week for a uh, betters insider. Um, it sounds like I'm doing a lot, but I'm really not. I mean, I, like you said, I'm, I'm, I'm on the, I mean, you know, when I covered the Eagles, I wrote two, three stories a day, every day. So this is kind of I, I am re- retired. I just want to keep a little busy so I don't turn to turn into a total beach bum. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we uh, appreciate you coming on and uh, everybody check out uh, Mark's work 24 uh, seven and uh, the uh, uh, better. Yes, yeah. better okay. insider. Gotcha. And you can follow me on Twitter at Mark Eccle 08. There you go. Mark Eccle 08. And uh, we appreciate you coming on. Uh, we'll talk soon. Uh, sorry you're missing the wedding this weekend. Uh, yeah, but, tell uh, Nolan I said congratulations. I, I, I will, I'll do that. And, and tell him, you know, I sent him a check. He could cash that whenever he wants. <laughs> I'll let him know. I'm surprised he hasn't. <laughs> it's, going to void, it's going to void pretty soon. That's pretty shocking that that has not gotten to the bank well, yet. Well, I sent it to his future wife, so maybe. Uh, I don't know. I mean, way more responsible with the buck, I'm sure. <laughs> so, yeah, so we appreciate you coming on. I will talk to you soon. I will see you soon. And uh, thanks a lot uh, for, for joining us here on how to bet and make sure you go to how to bet.com. Thanks, Mark. All right, guys. When we come back, we will run down our parlay power plays of the week right after this on how to bet. Let's go. Welcome back to how to bet hosted by Daryl fine and Sean Miller, giving their thoughts, opinions, and analysis on how to bet, where to bet and who to bet on. Hello, everyone, and welcome to How to Bet, our podcast where we will tell you how to bet, where to bet it, and who to bet on. I'm Daryl Fine, along with Sean the Genius Miller, and uh, it is time for our Parlay Power Plays of the Week. Sean, we've been successful with our uh, parlays here. You hit the first week, I hit last week, and uh, one of us or both of us, I am confident, will hit again. But before we get into our Parlay Power Plays of the Week, let's tell everybody where to find us uh, all over the world. Yeah, definitely. You know, we're on YouTube here. And uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, hit that like, subscribe Subscribe. button, like it, notifications, all that stuff. So we can, uh, you know, keep getting our viewers up and everything like that and follow our Twitter accounts as well. I'm at the prodigal Sean. I am the at the fine line or at You're, fine line fine line thirty three f e i n l i n e thirty three again f e i n l i n e thirty three, uh, and uh, again as Sean said, hit those subscribe subscribe buttons, yep. like buttons, uh, message us there after you subscribe, get swag, you yeah. see the shirts, hats, we got everything. That's where you can get the swag. You know, send us get the say, swag. Yeah, People want the leave swag. us a message. Say hey, I want merch. I want swag, and we'll send you something. Get a haircut. Grow mm-hmm. some hair, whatever I, you say. I, yeah, it's fun. We're not, I, once again, we're not cutting the hair until Manchester United wins a trophy. Yeah, I don't even know when they play, so hopefully that championship comes <sighs> Maybe soon, February. Or else you won't be able Praying. to hit the, fit the headsets on. McTominay, let's go. Uh, I so, just want to take a yep. moment to talk about our, our sportsbook of the week. Uh, we love our sportsbook Caesar's of the week. Caesar's Sportsbook. 
uh, one of our favorite sports books that you can find in how many states? How many states? Uh, 12, 12 dozen, states across dozen, the United States. One Arizona, dozen. Colorado, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, Virginia, and West Virginia as well. Uh, depending on the state you're living in, you'll be able to join and sign Mountain up with Caesar Caesars Sportsbook. Uh, great household band, brand, quick, quick payouts, top odds, obviously. But mainly... The, f- the thing that you want to go there for is... What are they giving us? This is the best they're promotion... They're always giving us something. That they're in, in, in the gambling world right now. $5,000 risk-free bet. $5,000. Once again, we talked about this. If you were to put your $5,000 risk-free bet on Daryl's Parlay Power Play of the Week last week... You probably could have retired at this point. A lot point. of money. You'd have made a lot of money. Or maybe uh, plus 300. I, I, right? I gave out, as I said uh, earlier, the Raiders on the money line. I gave out Carolina on the money line. I crushed it yeah. last week. Yeah, I mean, you know, Parley's pay about six to one. Mm-hmm. So you would have won about 30,000. Yeah. So how to bet RF. RF means risk free. How to bet RF. You guys in need of a sports book. We highly recommend Caesars Sportsbook. Don't forget to check our list of all the legal sports books. We'll leave the links pinned in the description down below. Let's not waste any more time, and we will get to our parlay power, power plays, plays of, the, of week. the week. You were a little slower than I was, but okay. All right, all right so Sean, again, it. Sean hit the first week. I hit last week, which is good. Hey, right now we're batting a hundred or a thousand because you know if you take both of us and you know two for two. Is this two like two. Uh, the Ryder Cup coming up? Uh, you, you go first here today. You have the honor I'll since you first. had the uh, yeah. you had the parlay. Yeah, yeah. Week. Okay, so I'm going to go first with the parlay power plays. Now I will say this, Sean, just in doing my research and and, and, and my studying here, this is a more difficult week. In the first two weeks, yeah, it's it's there's a lot of lines that are high. We talked about this uh, in uh, with Mark Echol. Uh, there's a lot of lines that are double digit lines early in the week. I mean, you don't usually see those double digit lines until maybe later in the yeah. week as the lines start moving. But we're already uh, early in the week and it's double digit lines. Tough to call. And then there's a lot of one and one teams playing. Very difficult. Very so, difficult. Yeah. I know there's overreaction in week one. I said that going into week two. Don't overreact and don't underreact either. There's, yeah. you know, but uh, th- this is a little tougher this week. So anyway, I'm going to start out with the Buffalo Bills and Washington Redskins, and the odor I smell is fraud odor. I smell fraud odor, and that fraud odor is the Washington football team's defense. That is fraudulent. But we just talked about how good they were for the first uh, – everybody picked them to win the division. Yeah, well – I, you know, that defense is not as good as, as they, they said it was going to be. They, they did get to the quarterback, uh, Jones, on, on Thursday night. But overall, this team's defense is not as good as uh, advertised. So with that being said, I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills minus the 8.5. Buffalo showed up week one. Just showed up week one. That's all. They just put their jerseys on. They didn't. They had pads, jerseys, and they didn't play because they thought all they had to do was show up and they'd be in the playoffs. Not the case. They lose to the Steelers. Uh, then they rebound big time against Miami, crushed the Dolphins, shut them out. Uh, so I'll take Buffalo minus the eight and a half over the football team. Uh, my next bet will be a team that I won with on my parlay last week, my parlay power play of the week. I'm going to take the New England Patriots minus the three over New Orleans. Yes, New Orleans came out. They crushed Green Bay. Then they lost outright to Carolina. I told you to take Carolina on the money line last week. I was correct. And I'm telling you now, take the New England Patriots minus the three. And I will finish my parlay power play of the week with the Tennessee Titans. You love the Titans, they, man. They, they won a close <laughs> one last week. I had yeah. the over in that one. Uh, it, it, it had to go down the end to win that over. But Tennessee minus the four and a half against Indianapolis. Uh, Wentz can't walk. Uh, he's It's a mess. They're a mess. Uh, you know, it's, yeah, they're a mess. They're a mess on both sides of the ball right now. I'm going to go with Tennessee minus the four and a half. So there it is. Buffalo minus eight and a half. New England minus the three. And Tennessee minus four and a half. They are my 
parlay power plays of the week. It's interesting. When I wrote the, the preview story for how to bet.com or the, o- the overarching thing uh, about this, that week three game, I talked about Carson Wentz being injured and in parentheses, oh my God, pretends to be shocked. Like the, le- the least... Uh, Least like, shocking news. Least would shocking be Carson news. Wentz getting hurt. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. I can't believe they. They. You know, I don't know. I just Titans are going to win that division by a lot. But uh, all right. So, so my Sean, picks, you're right? up. You're up for your parlay power plays of the week. And again, you could see the lines on our on Caesar Sportsbook. Get to HowToBet.com for lines from various numbers of sports books. And uh, again, our featured this week is Caesar's Sportsbook. So. Sean Miller, you are up. Yeah, I'm going to go with the, my first game is going to be the Seattle-Minnesota game. And we just talked about uh, the Tennessee game. Ten- Tennessee, uh, Derrick Henry went nuts against Seattle in the second half, three touchdowns, and they ended up winning overtime. I, you know, I think Seattle was kind of in charge of that game. And uh, now Seattle has to go play the Vikings, and the line right now is like one, one and a half. And I just... I, I don't. The Vikings are a disaster, and that field goal, like the, the field goal call, was the best thing I ever heard. The guy's like, "It's good," and then like, "Oh wait, it, oh he it, missed it." If you oh, know anything about it. if you know anything about the Vikings' <laughs> recent history, Yikes. the last I can't tell you the last oh. time they made a big field goal. Now the the yeah. kid put them in the overtime against Cincinnati, which was a big field goal at the time, but they wind up losing. I can't tell yeah. you the last time that a kicker made a big field goal for the Vikings. It's been a while. I just don't think they're that good, and and I just mentally, I just don't think they're strong. I think Seattle will bounce back from that game, and Russell Wilson will bounce back from that loss uh, better. And, and I, I just think the, the minus one, minus one and a half here is is too too much to to pass on. So I'm going to go with Seattle in the, in the first game here. All right. The second game, we talked about this. Uh, this is this is my team. You know, you talk about your team, Tennessee. My team, um, Arizona at Jacksonville. Uh, the Cardinals escape with that win. Yes. And but now they have a chance. And the the NFC West. You know, we talked about this in the preview as well. The the teams that are going to do well in the NFC West have to win their out of division games because they're going to get beat up in the division the teams all four are very good and there's going to be wins and losses three and three four and two whatever if they can win the games outside of the division i think those are big and i think that win last week was massive for arizona and kyler murray is a star right now well they get they get a a, a jacksonville cream puff here yeah, yeah jacksonville you know once again i'm gonna bet this down to seven you got to jump on this now because I think this line is going to go up. I'm going to bet it down to seven and take the Cardinals. I, I love this team, three and zero, oh, and that's a good base for them. Uh, and we talked about maybe you know uh, as a as a long shot to win the NFC West. Well, hey, if they're three and zero, oh, they're in the race. So right now I'll take Arizona in that game. Uh, my final parlay power play of the week is the Browns, another team that I'm very Cleveland high on. The Browns. Yeah. That I, line's seven and a half. They're minus seven and a half against Chicago. Yeah, I'm going to bet it down to seven. Uh, it looks like, you know, I know uh, Coach Nagy said if Andy Dalton is healthy, he's the starting quarterback, but it's a knee injury. He's not going to play. It's Justin Fields' time. Isn't it, isn't it a perfect time for Nagy to say, yeah, Dal- know, we're gonna like... Dalton's banged up. We're gonna start Fields, and then if Fields fails, he could say we'll bring Andy yeah, back. Yeah, He's I ready just... to go now. He's ready to go. Yeah, so, I just I, it's, it's just a weird thing. Like you don't have enough confidence in him, and like so now he's think... starting this game, and the line is seven, and, you, and you're playing a Browns team, um, and and it's a you know it's a tough game for for them, and, and it's a tough spot for them, I think as well. Um, in Cleveland, and I'm just going to bet it down to seven. I, I really like the Browns in this game. At some point, I think they're going to cover. The only problem I think I see with the Browns this year is, and once again, we wrote about this, go to howtobet.com and go to the front page for the for the preview of the week. I think the Browns are going to start seeing these lines, heavy lines, every week. So if you can get them at minus seven or minus six and a half, and now with the extra point being long, maybe minus six, 
you know, jump on it. I think, you know, last week they won by 10. They didn't cover because it was 12 and a half. So I'm going to take them to cover here at minus seven. Now, remember, there's a lot of injuries that are cropping up. So pay attention to that. Go to howtobet.com for all those updates yeah. uh, because that's important this it, week, especially this week, a lot of injuries. Yeah, it's right in, you know, if, if you go to any of the uh, preview stories, uh, Thursday night, Sunday night, Monday night games in the in one of the sections is injury report. And there's a link right to the live injury report. And you'll get those um, you'll get those updated to the to the second uh, injury report information. So just click on that and it's going to be you know, you're going to have to watch. There's a lot of injuries and there's a lot of big time injuries to players this week. And the lines are going to move all over the place. If you can get some of these lines early before they move, the better it off that you're going to be. So, Sean, once again, his parlay power plays of the week, Seattle minus one and a half, Arizona minus seven and a half. He's going to bet it down to seven, and Cleveland minus seven as well as he'll bet that down as well. I think you said that, right? You're going to bet that one Yeah, down? All yeah. Right. So that's Sean's parlay power plays of the week. When we come back, our top five NFL bets of the week. We'll do it all after this. You're listening to How to Bet. Go let's, to howtobet.com. Let's get it. Let's get it. And we're back with How to Bet, hosted by Daryl Fine and Sean Miller. Hello, everyone, and welcome to How to Bet, our How to Bet podcast, where we tell you how to bet, where to bet it, and who to bet on. I'm Daryl Fine, along with Sean the Genius Miller. Remember to go to howtobet.com. You'll get all these sports books you can imagine. You'll get all the lines. A great place to be, so go to howtobet.com. And, Sean, uh, this segment, uh, we are going to discuss our top five bets in the NFL for week three. And this is our top five bets. We've identified the games that we think will be the most bet on in each time slot. Of course, you have Thursday night's game uh, between Carolina and Houston. Uh, Our number one one o'clock game is Cleveland and Chicago. Uh, Our four o'clock game, these are all Eastern times, by the way, is Tampa at the Los Angeles Rams. Then we have our Sunday night game, San Francisco and Green Bay. And then, of course, Monday night, Philadelphia at Dallas. So that's how we have identified it. And we've wrapped it together and we've called it our top five Bets in the NFL Week Three. Yeah, definitely. I, I you know, obviously the primetime games always get a lot more play because uh, you know it's it's a standalone Everybody game. Everybody likes that action. Everybody, you know, you know, especially the Sunday night. People are either trying to you know hammer the day or get back into the content. You know, get back in it. So, uh, so yeah. And let me remind everybody: if you're new to seeing us here on YouTube, hit that subscribe and like button. Subscribe. Uh, send us a message. Anything we want. Swag. I got we have got swag we have hats we have we have we have mugs we have pens we have, i don't know if this get over my uh, it's not going to get obviously do not wear a hat with it's not getting on my head it's not going to get on puffy head uh but uh look uh, you just go message us whatever you say get a haircut grow some hair whatever it is uh we'll give you some swag hit the one that looks like this See, that one, yeah, that one, that one. You can hit that one, I don't care, but hit that one. We, we want more of that one than that one. Definitely, yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah, subscribe. Also, Twitter subscribe. as well. Uh, Twitter, yeah. Like, you know, uh, follow us on Twitter, at the Prodigal Sean at FineLine33. F-E-I-N-L-I-N-E-33. So, uh, yeah, follow us there, message us, comments. We have thick skin. Come on, come on, come on. So yeah, yeah yep. so let's uh, let's uh, also remind everybody Caesars Sportsbook. That's where yeah. it's at. Go to howtobet.com then click that Caesars Sportsbook link because they're giving up. What are they giving us? Where are they first of all? Caesars? How many states? Uh, 12. 12 states. 12. Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, West Virginia. And Virginia, I wanted to put West Virginia before Virginia there because don't they get so they don't get that complex all the time. They're always behind Virginia. Um, right now, isn't it just alphabetical? Yeah, it they is. They really have nothing to do with that. Though. Yeah, sometimes you know West Virginia, Virginia. You know they they got they got uh, you know sections of Cavaliers. Late, yeah, later. So you know their maybe, ears. Yeah, yeah. Both ears. Not ears. Right. Cavaliers. Um, basically, you know Caesars comes out with this monster offer. For if you follow how to bet.com, how to how to bet RF is the code, and you get a risk free first bet 
of five thousand dollars. That's five, five grand. Five, five grand. Five. five stacks. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's legit. Go to howtobet.com. That's that they're giving you some legit money there. Go to howtobet.com. And we talked about this last week on on these top five plays. If you would have uh, took some of your plays here, if you would have took the parlay power it. play of the week, I crushed it. Five thousand could have turned into thirty billion. Whew. One thirty billion could turn into yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I mean, it's, Not quite. Yeah, yeah. But I did crush it. I had Vegas on the money line, Carolina on the money line. Uh, thank you, Caesars Sportsbook. That's right. Yes. All and right. It, Let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into this week's time. We got nothing video. but time, Sean. That's right. Yeah. So, all right. So, this is our uh, top five bets of the week in the NFL. As I said, we have identified one from each time slot. So, let's start with Thursday night, the Carolina Panthers, the Matt Rule Carolina Panthers. He, is, he leads them. You know, Matt Rule, this is why I loved them last week on the money line. This is why I'll, I'll continue to like them throughout. Matt Rule is going to be, he's already there. He's one of the best coaches in the NFL. He turns programs. Rams around. He does it quickly. He did it with Temple. He did it with Baylor. I know the colleges. Hey, you could do it in the NFL. And now he's doing it with the Carolina Panthers. By the way, led by Sam Darnold, who was thrown away by the Jets, who are about to throw away the guy they just picked, Zach Wilson. It's coming, folks. It's coming. I'm telling you. Uh, it's, it's, it's like uh, deja vu all over again uh, for the Jets. So let's go to uh, Houston, the Carolina Panthers, a seven and a half point, uh, check that, a seven point favorite right now over the uh, Houston Texans. Uh, you go first, Sean. Well, first, before we do anything, you, you have to check the injury report for this game. Yes. This is this is one of the games we've talked about this in other segments today and this you have to talk you have to go to howtobet.com and look um and the Thursday night specifically there's a Thursday night preview for this game. Um Tyrod Taylor. Tyra Taylor is day to day. He got an MRI on Monday. They're still waiting to see, but this is a short week. He's not playing. We don't know that. Probably. Just keep checking. He's not playing yeah. probably. Probably not playing. And Keep Deshaun it. Watson will not be active even if he's not playing. Also not playing. So it's going to be... Mills. I don't know, David Mills or something. I, I don't know. Yeah. It, but it's, uh, you know, he was 8 of 18 for 102 yards and a touchdown. Uh, but, I don't care if it's Tyrod Taylor. I don't care if it's Deshaun Watson. Yeah. Carolina. Carolina's defense is very good. But, I, you know, if it's the backup or the... It's really the third string guy because Tyrod Taylor is the backup. Deshaun Watson is... In theory, Taylor's played well though. Yeah, no, no, I agree. It, I mean, that's a big loss for them, especially in a short week. They don't have time to prepare for this defense. You have to, I think, you hammer Carolina in this spot. I agree. I'm hammering Carolina in this spot. I'll give the seven. Uh, so we both agree on that. How about those Cleveland Brown? This is our Monday night one o'clock Eastern game. Cleveland and Chicago. We already know who you like. You like the Browns because we had that in your our power play, parlay power play. So we know you like Cleveland minus the seven and a half. I'm going to bet them down though minus seven. Minus I'm not going to leave them at seven and a half. I think they could cover seven and a half, but uh, you know I I think we, we, this has kind of been a theme on the show, and we talk about you know how to bet. You know, some of these games you can't really leave at seven and a half. You got to bet it down to minus seven. So, uh, you know, I'll take the Browns there. And uh, I'm going to go the flip side. I think Justin Fields will play in this game, and I think that's the right move for Chicago. I think he's he'll be more difficult to defend for to plan for. Wasn't great uh, in in his time last week, but uh, he's got more weapons. He's got he can run it. He could throw it. Uh, I don't think he's going to be great, but I do think um, <clears throat> the seven and a half. Will be enough. I'm going to take the points. Uh, I had Chicago last week. I'm going to take him again. Let's go to our four o'clock game again. All times Eastern. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers two and zero at Los Angeles to take on the Rams at two and zero. This will be a rare time that Tampa is an underdog there. Point and a half. Although I expect by game time this could go down to a pick 'em uh, in this one because people will be hammering Tampa. Uh, what say you? Genius. I mean, I don't think you can go against Tom Brady. I mean, put up 48 points last week. Yeah, I won't Um, go against him until I see that you should go against him. Yeah, and I I actually think, I mean, this game could even go 
to maybe minus one uh, to Tampa. I mean, it just depends. I mean, it's that late game. I mean, I I would think they're gonna get hammered in this game uh, on the money, not in the game, but um, the the money will be coming in on on Tampa. So, so we both agree yeah, on the Tampa, Tampa Bay Bucks at plus one and a half. This is a this I think though is a potential NFC Championship game matchup. Interesting. You're right. It definitely is a potential NFC matchup game. You're right. Sunday night. Now, this is interesting. San Francisco uh, entertains the Green Bay Packers. San Francisco, three-and-a-half-point favorite. But we don't even know if they have a running back in yeah. this game. Uh, they, 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 lost, they lost their running game. They lost their entire backfield uh, between weeks one and week two. So... Uh, this is tricky. At this point, though, I'm I'm going to go with San Francisco. I don't I don't love Green Bay even even against Detroit. I didn't something didn't feel right uh, for me. I'm going to go with San Francisco minus the three and a half uh, over Green Bay. Now, check the injury report. If they have to take somebody off the taxi squad, that could change my mind. The line right now, as I said, it's three and a half. That line could change. So again, go to howtobet.com. Check out the 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 lines. Check out the injury reports. Check out Sean Miller's articles, uh, and uh, keep up to date with this one. As of right now, though, I'll take the 49ers. Yeah, there's a couple of things you know we talked specifically about this in the the Sunday night story on HowToBet.com. Uh, there's only seven unbeaten teams left in the league. Um, three of them in the NFC West, and I think. And we talked about this in the early segment as well. The NFC West teams have to win their out of division games. But that doesn't mean they're going to win. No, no. Yeah. But yeah. you know, it's it's big. I think it's big for them they, to win. I, you know, I think they they all know this. If they get a chance to, you know, a home game against the team, you know, that played on Monday night, um, even it's just you have to check. Just backing up what Daryl said, the injury report, uh, three running backs got injured and most of it is on the injured reserve. Yes. So someone's going to run the ball, but we don't know who it's going to be at this point. Um, you know, they have till Sunday night, which is big. But, uh, you know, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take San Fran, but I'm going to bet it down to three. All right. So uh, we both agree on that one. And then the Monday night game, Philadelphia at Dallas. I'll go first on this one. I think uh, it, it, the line's three and a half. Dallas favorite. Dallas coming off a big win against the Chargers. The Eagles looked uh, lackluster at best against San Francisco in Philadelphia. I'm going to surprise you a little bit here. I'm going to take the points and the Eagles. I'm going to go Eagles plus three and a half. I think this is going to be a close one. Uh, I could see this coming down the wire. I know most of the games don't come mm. down the wire when they meet, but I think this one could. I am going to take the Eagles plus three and a half. Do you agree or disagree with me? Uh, I'm going to disagree. I talked in the Monday night story. Uh, this is huge rivalry. I mean, these two teams hate each other. I said, you know, there's not a better rivalry in football unless you go to the other side of the Atlantic, maybe for Liverpool, Manchester name. That's the other football. Football. But football. these two teams, Bounty Gate, the Snowball Game, the fist fights in the stands. The one thing I'll say is the last two times these, they, they have Dallas has won four of the last six, and they but they've split the last two years. But at home, Dallas has won thirty seven seventeen and thirty seven ten in the last two years. Yeah, I no just I you know though I think that's kind of a big thing there. And I don't think the Eagles are that good. Um, I know they played pretty well defensively against a team with no running game. But uh, Dallas has played pretty well. A big win and, and really a nearly a big win on, on opening nights. I mean, they could be 2-0. And I think they go to 2-1 and one here. And I think this isn't a very close game. Okay, interesting. So we agree on three of the five in our top five bets in the NFL Week 3. When we come back, we'll run down the rest of the NFL schedule. How to bet? Go to howtobet.com. Get it. Let's take it back to how to bet. Hosted by gambling masterminds, Daryl Fine and Sean Miller. 
Hello, everyone, and welcome to How to Bet, our podcast where we will tell you how to bet, where to bet it, and who to bet on. I'm Daryl Fine, along with Sean the Genius Miller. Uh, we're going to run down the rest of the NFL for you here in this segment. But uh, let me also remind you, you uh, need to, when you are watching us on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Uh, and uh, we're offering lucky subscribers, uh, we're offering you swag. You go on, hit the subscribe button, and then in the comment line, I want merch. Put anything you want. You get a haircut, grow some hair, whatever you want. We're offering uh, lucky subscribers some swags. Swag here. We got shirts, hats. We got water bottles. We got a lot. To, and don't forget our special promo codes. Make sure you check out bet.com regularly for updated and unique promo codes to get you started on your betting journey. Always remember, bet. With your head, not over it. Don't bet with that heart, bet with that head. And, uh, Sean, uh, you know, a, a lot going on uh, here as we run down the rest of the NFL. Yeah, definitely. And uh, just let me give a couple of these uh, sports books out. Uh, Fire bet, away. Bet MGM sports book. First uh, deposit bonus up to 1000 with bonus code how to bet MGM. Points bet sports book. Sign up for a new ca- account and get two risk-free bets worth up to $2,000. Unibet Sportsbook, sign up for a new account and get a risk-free bets worth up to $250. Bonus code Unigame, where I used that this week. My soccer bet of the week, Chelsea plus 170. Just give you that real quickly. Jump on them against uh, Manchester pump City. The pump for that. And then finally, you got to take a moment and give a big shout to the top sportsbook of the week, Caesars. Why are they a favorite sportsbook? Because they're giving away bonus Risk-free, five grand. $5,000 five risk-free. Happened How to bet week. RF. They're in 12 states. West Virginia, Virginia, Tennessee, New Jersey, Michigan, Iowa, Indiana, Colorado, Arizona. We give West Virginia some love. My dad was born in Bluefield, West Virginia. Mountain Picked them first instead of last. Opposite alphabetical. So um, get over there. Great Swiss platform. The One of the best customer services. How to bet. RF five thousand dollar risk free bet. I crushed it last week. That's right. Thank you, Caesars Sportsbook. And let's get right into it. Our first game that we will talk about is the Baltimore Ravens and Detroit Lions. Last week, Baltimore a big win over Kansas City in Maryland. Uh, now nine and a half point favorites. Yeah, I was just waiting a little bit for that line to come out. Wanted to see where it would land uh, below 10, and it did. So I'm going to take Baltimore here. Lamar Jackson looked unbelievable, back to his best self, and uh, Ravens should roll here, even though Detroit will be better at some point this year. Yeah, as we spoke with Mark Echo earlier in the show, we did say that we all agree that Detroit will be better, but I'm going to take Baltimore as well at 9.5. Next game on the slate, Arizona 7.5 over Jacksonville. We already know the genius uh, likes Arizona. It was part of his parlay power plays of the week. I will also take Arizona minus the 7.5. Uh, next up, the Tennessee Titans. We already know I like Tennessee. That was part of my parlay power play of the week at minus four and a half. Who do you like in this Tennessee Indianapolis game? Tennessee minus four and a half. I don't know. You can't take Indianapolis. Who's their quarterback? Uh, you know they don't have one. Went, Carson Wentz. Went bad oh ankles. my gosh! I'm stunned. He's injured. Ankles. Wow! Absolutely stunned. Bad Look ankles. at the shock on my face. <laughs> Tennessee wins this. I think uh, Derrick Henry's unbelievable. Next up, Buffalo minus eight and a half against the Washington football team. I've already told you that I believe the Washington defense is fraudulent. Uh, that's why I went with Buffalo minus eight and a half in my parlay power play of the week. Does WFT stand for Washington fraudulent team? Or what? W- yeah. Washington fraudulent? Yeah. I'm, you know, I, I, I think it's just the defense that's fraudulent. I think. <sighs> Yeah, the quarterback, you know, the situation right now, uh, the backup quarterback, I think. Uh, Buffalo, I think, wake-up call first week. Good teams, they get that wake-up call, usually go on runs. I think Buffalo's about to go on a run like that. You know, they won 13 games last year. They'll win this. Yeah, and it was, you know, a Buffalo team that they just showed up, put on their pads, and thought they were going to the playoffs in week one, and then they got beat because they now figured out they actually have to play yep. the game. So, yeah, I'll take uh, Buffalo. Sean's taking Buffalo. Kansas City, six-and-a-half-point favorites over the Chargers. Uh, Kansas City, one-and-one. One. Chargers, one-and-one. One. Disappointing loss against Dallas. Uh, I'll go first in this one, Sean, and I will tell you I'm going to take Kansas City minus six and a half. 
Yeah, I, I have to agree. Uh, you know, Patrick Mahomes is Patrick Mahomes. And uh, I just think they let that game slip away a little bit. Uh, Chargers, just, I don't think they played really well in that game. Kansas City's definitely a better team here. And uh, they're going to be, uh, I think, upset. And uh, I think that if you get this game under seven, I, I think you got to jump on it. Uh, New England and New Orleans. I've already taken New England in my parlay power play of the week for the second week in a row. This line is minus three. New Orleans comes out and whoops up on Green Bay in week one, and then they lose to Carolina, the Carolina Panthers. I had on the money line last week. Not surprising at all to me. Again, I take New England. Who do you take in this game? Uh, I got to go Patriots. Uh, Bill Belichick last week, the defense uh, embarrassed basically the Jets and uh, Zach Lewis. And uh, we'll talk about that You think later. I'll have a plan for Jameis Winston? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, so we'll so. talk about the, the Jets in, in a little bit when we talk about yeah. their game. But uh, it's just <laughs> yeah, we embarrassing. The Pittsburgh Steelers minus a four and a half. This is a divisional game against Cincinnati, the game in Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh, again, they beat a uh, team that just kind of walked through, went through the motions in Buffalo. Then they lose to Vegas. I had Vegas on the money line. I told you that here last week. Uh, I will take the Cincinnati Bengals in this one. I actually think Cincinnati is the better team now. Uh, old Ben, he can't get it done. A lot of injuries on the Pittsburgh side. Uh, and, and, again, keep yeah. up. At howtobet.com, uh, read those injury reports. Sean's got uh, articles and injury reports uh, as he does each preview. Yeah, definitely uh, go to any of the, the Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday night games on howtobet.com front page. Go to the injury report section, and it will be updated specific, like to the minute uh, update for injury report. Uh, TJ Watts out. Uh, maybe uh, could, Dante Johnson. There's some injuries play. here. So, yeah. I, I'm gonna so, probably I, I take Pittsburgh, but once I I don't I don't love this game. Like I wouldn't bet it, but uh, I I would go with Pittsburgh here. But you know there there's some a lot of injury issues. Two horrible teams in this next one. We'll go to New Ugh. York, New Jersey, New Jersey, New York. Giants minus three over Atlanta and Sean. These are two really bad teams. Should the Giants Oof. be favored by three over anyone? I don't think. I mean, I, I I'll be honest. I you know my Emmett, my buddy Emmett's hotel right down the street. The IHG hotel. Give him a plug. Give yeah, him a plug. Holiday Inn right there in Hasbro Heights, right down the street from there. I think you could probably go find twenty two guys in the hotel on Sunday and maybe come over there and give one of these two teams a game. Uh, I think we could probably score in the defense, but uh, I both teams stink. I'm gonna you know flip my flip the old cool oh, heads. I guess I'm going. I guess I'm going the Giants. Giants. Atlanta's defense. Flip up a Atlanta court. is the only team in the league that has allowed more. Eight, they've allowed 80 points. No other team has allowed more than 68. That's unbelievable. Yeah, they're they're terrible. However, they made a game of it against Tampa. I don't think the Giants should be favored by three over anyone. For that reason, I'm. At, oh, that was a different show. For that reason, I'm taking Atlanta. Did you, I did like a Shark Tank reference there? Yeah, so yeah. For that reason, oh, I got it. I don't know. All right. Now, the Las Vegas Raiders back to Vegas with a 2-0 record. The place will be jumping yeah. against the battered Miami Dolphin team. Uh, I will take for the third week in a row. Not The first two weeks I took them on the money line. This this time I'm going to take a minus 4.5. Um, I'm going to take the, the Raiders in this one. You can take them on the money line. They're going to win the game. Uh, yes, I'm taking the Raiders here to do go three and zero. They were two and two last year, by the way. Finished eight eight and eight. Or two and zero last year. Do you Finished know there's eight. only two teams left in the uh, AFC with uh, unbeaten records? And, only and two, it, of and the, it's all not the, the Chiefs and it's not the Chargers. It's two, it's two AFC West teams, and it's going to be the next two games we talk about. Uh, Vegas is good. John Gruden's doing a good job there. Miami's issues. Two is injured. Once again, check the injury report. Uh, they looked atrocious last week. Uh, you got to go with Vegas at home here, I think. All right, so we agree on that. Next game up, no, oh, Denver let's Broncos. Go. Ten and a half point favorites against what could be the worst team in football. I mean, it's either them or Jacksonville. It's the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. They're just horrible. Mm -hmm. uh, Zach Wilson is uh, in oh. it's, it's deja vu <laughs> all over again. Let Zach me, Wilson. Let me talk about this guy, Darnold, man. Wilson. It's all happening again. He'll be out soon. So, but, and, and, you know, and it's it's uh, there's no Adam Gase to blame. It's, it's yeah, yeah, just yeah. a bad team. I, I think Wilson has shot to be a pretty good quarterback one day. Uh, but uh, this is not that day. Denver, 
I'm taking Denver minus the 10 and a half. Yeah, Denver's the other 2-0 team after notoriously slow starts for years. Teddy Bridgewater's been fantastic. This defense is tight. You talk about the fraudulent watch. This defense is legit. And Zach Wilson threw four interceptions last week against Bill Belichick and was crying on the sidelines. Denver's opening at home. They've been on the road 2-0. It's going to be crazy. They're going to be flying all over. Zach Wilson's going to be like this deer in headlights. Broncos, it's a big line, but, you know, yeah. Broncos, I think, are Broncos could be good. It could be good. Yeah, I, I yeah. thought they were going to be good coming in. That's uh, good. They yeah, did yeah. lose Judy, and I thought Judy was ready for a breakout. Here's here. the Broncos defense right now, getting ready, looking at that game tape. Yeah, it's it, there's just no weapons there for the Jets. Final game on the slate. We already know you like Seattle minus yep. one and a half as part of your parlay power plays of the week over Minnesota in Minnesota. I am going to surprise everybody. I don't love the game, but I'm going to surprise everybody. Take Minnesota plus the point and a half here. Uh, I think this could end the same way the last one did. I think this could be a one-point game, and Minnesota just loses at the uh, at the uh, the, the uh, buzzer again. Any thought of taking the money line here? No, I'm not going to take the money line here. No, I think again this could be one of those right down to the wire type of of games. Okay. So there you have it. There are picks. Uh, remember to go to howtobet.com. Get all your information there, especially this week with all the injuries. Very important to go there. You'll see Sean Miller's previews. You'll see all the sports books. Go to howtobet.com. And remember to go on there. One of the lucky subscribers, right? I want merch. Subscribe. You know, pop, subscribe, YouTube. like, the thumbs up, the thumbs up one like, like this, right? That, you know, like th- there's all the promo codes. Make sure to how to check howtobet.com regularly. They've got the promo codes the front page of how to bet.com has all the stories the prime time games the that thing so there's a lot of information that goes along with this podcast so definitely check it all out for our producer trey wright our executive director tiffany hartman he's sean the genius miller i'm daryl fine see you next week on how to bet let's get it thank you for listening to how to bet hosted by daryl fine and sean miller For more information about betting guides, online gambling, betting odds, including NFL betting lines and odds, go to howtobet.com. Watch all How to Bet podcasts on YouTube. And to access all How to Bet podcasts, go to 1077thebronc.com slash howtobet.